Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this ThinkTech commentary, which we are calling changes in the enforcement of open borders. Since World War II, borders between many countries have become more open, such as between the countries of the EU. You can go from one country to another without even being inspected. In recent years, migrants have come to those countries from the Middle East and North Africa, as well as Central Asia. But how does that affect the countries they are migrating to, and how does it affect the countries they are leaving? At first, it seemed that the borders of Europe were open to migration, but now it is not so clear. The flow of migrants seeking sanctuary has led to right-wing political backlash in a number of countries. Likewise, the flow of Latin American migrants seeking sanctuary across the southern border of the United States has led to right-wing political backlash here too. We can control entry by common carrier, that is, by planes, trains, and buses, but it is more difficult to control entry through the backwoods. Although you would think that with modern technology, any country can identify people who enter and stay in the country, legally or illegally, the fact is that many countries, including the U.S., have no handle on that and have not reformed their immigration systems to deal with the changing times. As we have seen in Europe, integrating a migration from the global south requires significant effort and resources in the host country. Some migrants do not easily assimilate, and some members of the host countries are unsympathetic to their entry. This can create social, cultural, racial, political, and public safety issues in the host country. While there are humanitarian and moral benefits for the migrants and the host countries, these migrations need to be thoughtfully managed. Where open borders were once an expression of international enlightenment, with the increase of global migration, things have become more complex and have raised a multitude of challenges. The protection of the culture and civil society of the host country, the assimilation of migrant communities into the host country, dealing with the costs and impacts of that assimilation, and maintaining humanitarian care in the host country for the members of the migrant community. Where is this all going? What are the impacts on the host countries, the migrant communities, and for that matter the countries the migrants have left? From a social and cultural point of view, the world is being reordered, sometimes dramatically. We need to understand how that works, and how to deal with these challenges and avoid the possibility of conflict. These impacts are being felt all over the world. Increasingly, they are affecting geopolitics, global economics, the flow of humanity, see Ai Weiwei's 2017 Human Flow movie, and the state of health and welfare of humanity in general. From a human perspective, we should be addressing these things, but are we really doing that? Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this ThinkTech commentary, which we are calling Changes in the Enforcement of Open Borders. Aloha.